This is activity two, hanging blocks, rather than hanging socks that we saw in activity one. And this is another way of visualizing keeping equations balanced. So in the first part of this activity, Elena has these two sets of triangles and blocks hanging from this hanger. And the question is, if she removes two triangles from the left side and three triangles from the right side, will this um, hanging blocks, will these hanging blocks still be in balance? And the answer is no. She took off less weight from the left side and more weight from the right side. She removed more weight from the right side. So the left side is going to be heavier. So this is going to, going to um, hang down a little bit lower than the right side because now the left side is heavier. She removed less weight. Then they ask, well, if each triangle is one gram, so this is two grams on this side from the triangles, five grams on this side from the triangles, how much does the blue square weigh? And so what we can start to do is make these sides of the hanger simpler, fewer blocks, until we can get down to what one blue block equals. So if we remove two triangles from the left side and remove two triangles from the right side, so now we have equivalent amounts of weight on each side. We've just removed the same amount from both sides. So we've made this a little bit simpler. And now do you see that you can move, remove one blue block from each side and make it even easier to look at or simpler to work with. So now we're down to two blue blocks equals three triangles. And those three triangles can div be divided up among these two blocks. Imagine these are two large groups and you have three things divided into these two large groups. So two large, two blue squares and three triangles divided into those two blue squares. Well, if each one of these weighs one gram, I can give one gram or one triangle to one square, one gram or one triangle to another square. And the last one I can divide in half and give half to one square and half to the other square. So that means one blue square is going to equal one and a half grams. Another way to look at that is three grams. So the three triangles divided among two groups or two squares, three divided by two is three halves, which is the same, which is equal to one and a half grams. So three divided by two is three halves. So three halves grams per square. So a blue square is equal to three halves or one and a half. And in each case, they would be grams, would be the unit.